Welcome back to another episode of Mainly Outdoors. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to go back out to that spot where I did the pollock fishing in a previous episode. Instead of pollock fishing this time, I'm going to go out and see if I can catch some bluefish. Is there any way that you could sort of just sock me out so that like I, I don't know that I'm at work? In here, could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? came down here the other day, I saw a bunch of flashes down in this water, and I'm pretty sure that they were bluefish. All right, I got some faith in this guy. I think we can catch a bluefish with a blue lure, right? That makes sense to me. <laughs> Today I'm running some 30 pound braid, just because I know these guys have some teeth, so hopefully they can't chew through that. There we go, that's how you want to retrieve a bait. Make sure the hook's up and around this front, front treble. So we're gonna switch up the lures. I'm gonna go ahead and try out this uh, Pollock looking one. I think I might have some better luck with that. You're not gonna believe this. I'm pretty sure I have a mackerel on right now and it, man it actually bit that, and it actually bit on that Pollock bait that I just threw on there. It's like, I don't know, four inches long. Sure enough, it's a mackerel. Jeez, I, I can't believe he bit on this. All right, well, that's all right. I think I'm gonna change my plan and I'm actually gonna do a macro catch and cook, you know, since I already have one. Might as well do it now. Uh, now to get the hooks out. He does not want to sit still for me. I really don't want to catch one of those treble hooks in my hand. That would not be fun. All right, well, there's one. I'm gonna go dispatch him and possibly throw on a different bait so I'm more likely to catch another mackerel. It looks like I lost that audio on the last one, so I was casting out that spoon. I was giving it, you know, it was, I was gonna go till 12 o'clock to see if I could catch a fish. And I caught that mackerel two or three minutes before I hit 12, so it's pretty lucky. He's a small fish, but with the addition of the other one, that's gonna be perfect for me. All right, let's get, let's get going. They're definitely an oily fish, but uh, I really don't mind the flavor. I think it's, it's quite good. One done. And so this one, I'm gonna take some fillets off. Slice back towards the head behind the fin, all the way down. And actually, you know what, I'm gonna take those guts out. So now we can just follow the spine straight down as close as you can. I want to get as much meat as possible. And give me a flip, slice that off. There's one. There we go. Hmm, I might fillet that one. There we go. What I'm going to do is take off these ribs. So you just cut in behind them, and then just let your knife slide down, come right up. So these smaller ones, I'm gonna leave these uh, back spines in, but with the bigger ones, I can just do a V cut right down the middle. So you'd slice either side of where they are, and then you'll just pull it out. You don't wanna go too deep, but you just barely go in, feel, feel where those are, and then slice down along your fillet. Same thing with the other side. This time I'll start from where the tail would be. Same idea, nice and light. And then just up towards the head. And then you're just gonna take it from the top and it'll just slide right out. Perfect. And those are done. Really nice fillets. The color on these is just incredible. It's got that bluish top and then underneath it's just this pearlescent. I always leave the skin on just because it's nice presentation. And there's no scales on them, I believe, and if there are, they're very small, so I've never even bothered scraping them off. I guess I could test that here. No scales that I see, so it's really nice. All right, let's get to cooking.
All right, so this time around, we're just gonna put a little olive oil into the pan and then fry them up in that. Put a little salt and pepper over the top of them when they're done and call that good, nice and simple. I am so hungry. Didn't have any breakfast, so these are gonna be perfect. These are just about ready to give them a flip. There we go, really flaky. The mackerel, I find, is really good when it's fresh, but when you freeze it, it brings out the oils in them, and I don't like it as much, but it's still good. But the only way I'll eat it is fresh like this. This time around, I'm actually gonna use that salt and pepper that I brought, just to spice them up a little bit. So that looks good to me. Turn the stove off and gas. Let them cool down a little bit, and I can try them out. So I'm gonna transfer them over to the cutting board and don't worry, I had some soap so I just washed this off. It's clean. Drizzle some of the oil on them. Great view and these look absolutely delicious. Well guys, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to beat that. We didn't actually catch any uh, bluefish, but you know, I'm all right with that. Mackerel's pretty good and I haven't had it in a while so uh, I can make two with some mackerel. Oh man. Those are really good. Nothing beats fresh mackerel. Definitely a fan. That salt and pepper on it is really good. I'm glad <laughs> I actually put that on there this time. Although those brook trout didn't need it. Then we have such a great view here. So I think you guys can see this right out over there on the uh, left, that big cliff face, that's precipice. So that's a really nice hike and I might actually feature that in one of the videos. If you're here, you should try to make your way up precipice before uh, heading back home. They just repaired a couple bridges, so it's it's safe and it's, it's very steep. If you're scared of heights, it's not necessarily uh, the one to go with. Excuse me for a second. Man. Kinda, it's like sardines. So if you like sardines, you would definitely love fresh mackerel cooked in some olive oil. Some clouds are starting to roll in again. But on the bright side, it's not foggy today. So that's kind of a first. It's been foggy for the last week, week and a half. I'll show you guys. You can see it starting to creep in a little bit on us. Last bite. Although I didn't catch any bluefish, pretty happy with those mackerel. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content. You know, it's been a lot of fun for me to make it. And if you like these videos, make sure you go down below, hit that like button, and then also subscribe. It really does mean so much to me. So thank you guys for the support and I will see you next time.